Hey, first things first, congratulations on being you know, the head coach of, for the first time ever winning a state title in Ohio. Uh, how does it feel? It feels great. Not the tournament I think a lot of people had envisioned for you guys. Um, right. You took some tough losses in the semis yesterday, but um, Campbell's, they, they kind of pulled through right. and, it, you know, and it separated you from the field, right? What's it like knowing that you guys are going to you know, win your win a, it's the third title in three years, first for you, but what's it like knowing you guys persevered, got through a tough semi round, and you're going to end up with the title? Uh, one, one word, resilient. These guys have – their backs have been against the wall most of the season just because of the schedule we wrestled, and uh, they bounced back real well, real well. You guys wrestle like a like a St. Ed schedule, a Brexville schedule, a Perrysburg schedule. You're wrestling a schedule like the D1 schools here. Right. And it's not an accident. I don't think you pull those events out of a hat and no. just go to them, right? No. What's it like having such a tough schedule for you guys and this is the fifth or sixth toughest tournament you come to? Well, they definitely take their lumps during the season, but it, but it's all for the end goal. They know the end goal is, is this. This is what we want to win. So just going through that fire and being hardened by it, that, that's a process. Some guys took some, you know, some losses in the semis who just came off the mat and got third. What do you say to guys who can come back and battle back and take third for you guys and, and, and you know, have pride and, now, oh, I, you know, it's, it's easy to slide to sixth, man. Right. I, this is not, not, this is not easy. Right. You know, I, we tell them all the time, you know, we're not a team of 40, 50 guys. So you have to have that resiliency and that power to come back to take that third because that's where a lot of teams will catch us because they've got 14 guys or 13 guys and they wrestle back to third and sometimes I'll keep it a little closer than what I when I want, even though we've got what I call the big six. Most of those guys, you know, in, in smaller tournaments, they'll make it to the finals. But in tougher tournaments, you know, they, they'll get to that last round before they place and things happen. But you got to have that bounce back power. You guys are not a, what I would call a quote unquote dual team, but you still wrestle duels. Yep. You go to the state duels, you qualify, yep. you don't hide. You're not like, ah, we're not going to win the state duel, so we're not going to go. There's, sure. You know, that, that's a thing sometimes, you know. Why are duels important for you guys to wrestle when you're not a dual team? Well, it's, it's, for, for us, it's the camaraderie of the team. That's where you get that together. You know, and the first time in school history, we had two duels at home this year. Really? Never never had a duel at home. And we never had a, a competition match to wrestle on. So the school stepped up and bought two brand-new competition matches so we could do that. And we, and we started with the youth club and then rolled right into the to high school duel. Okay, I was talking to Coach Hoskins. Uh -huh. You guys started out under, a, what was the last, and actually I think Coach Ott, uh, Kyle Ott told me, what was the original name of the school? Uh, Xenia Christian. It was Xenia Christian, mm -hmm. and now it's Legacy Christian. That's correct. Okay, and they rebranded, brought teams in, or you brought, you brought it, you were state champs in soccer, Josh Lowe told me. I didn't realize all this about Legacy uh, Christian. Not state champs in soccer. No, we but they really had a good oh, yeah. soccer oh, yeah. team, right? I didn't realize it. I didn't even realize it was a brick and mortar. I didn't realize that. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like, so to have that and to be able to have your host things, right? You've never hosted before, sure. right? What's that mean? Well, for us, it, it's, it's not just the camaraderie of the team. It's, it's getting everybody from, for us, a lot of teams, they take those youth clubs and those youth clubs are separate. The junior high teams are separate. I don't, I don't want that. I want it. We're one team. From the bottom to the top. So everybody's in the room together and, and if it's not, a club. Not in a room together, but our youth club knows our they're, guys. They're so doing the same that's, thing that's as the high correct. school. That's, that's correct. A, you know what? The really great coaches tell me that. There has to be. There has to be continuity. It's, yeah, it has to be across the board you're doing the same things. Right. Wadsworth tells me that. You know, all these guys I talk to, they, they say the same thing. And it, obviously, you guys get it. Sure. Uh, what do you do to celebrate? Um, well, we have a party at the hotel tonight for sure, so. Uh, we got some chicken wings, roosters, and all that stuff. I mean, and the thing that for me, it's not just the team. Our administration has been at this tournament since the first round. They're still here today. They haven't went home. That that's when you talk about continuity. We just don't have it from our youth club to the high school team. We have it from the administration too because they support us 100. percent Finalists tonight. What do you guys got to do to come home with as many charts as possible? Uh, Pace, pressure, persistence. Is your 126 pounder the best uh, pound for pound wrestler in Division Three, Ohio? I would say 100% yes. I think that. If he's on, that's my opinion. If he's on, there's, there's no question. I mean, 
you know, he beat, beats pretty guys, good guys at Ironman. He avenged his only loss at Ironman. That's, that's correct. He's pretty good. Yes. And who else did he beat? He beat, uh, he beat the kid that was ranked. The McCourt guy. Yes. Huh? He beat Gibson. Yeah, he beat Mason Gibson. Yeah. Badly. Yeah. Like seven three or something. Yep. That's hard to do. Do you, do you think college coaches realize how good the Campbell brothers are? Do you think they realize how good your team is? Um, I think they realize how good Dylan is because we've had three or four Division One teams in our room looking at him. Um, as far as the rest of the team, I think they're starting to recognize that, but not sold on that. I'm sold. I'm sold. I saw that the Iron Man. That's all I needed to see. I appreciate that, Zach. All right. Do you have anything else for me? I'm good. You're good? LCA Knights, let's go. All right. Congratulations on another team title. Congratulations on your first title as a head coach. And go, go Knights. Go Knights. Go Knights. All right.